Hey everyone, welcome back to Talkin' Tech, where tech makes sense. If you're new around here, my name is Tony, and my goal is to provide you with practical tech tips and reviews. In today's video, we're going to discuss what is HTCP and how do you defeat it. HTCP stands for High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection, and it was developed by Intel to basically prevent copying of digital assets. Now, what does that mean? That means you're not able to connect your Blu-ray player to a device that would then record that before it goes to your TV or maybe it doesn't go to your TV. What HTCP does is basically creates an encrypted connection between two devices that both conform to the HTCP standard. Let's say I plug in my Blu-ray player to a device and it doesn't conform to the HTCP standard. I'm just going to get a black screen or maybe an error that says HTCP not available. Now, that means that I won't be able to play on that device or you know whatever I'm trying to do with that device. I know I've read some things online about people having issues with some of their TVs potentially not being compatible with new devices and causing issues displaying content on those. So there is kind of a workaround for that. Um, it's, it's not great for that purpose, but it, it will function if, if you need it. Now, I use HTCP stripping for a different reason and you know, let's let's set a scenario here. Let's say you go out and buy yourself a nice new capture card. I have here an Elgato HD60 Pro um, internal PCI Express capture card. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and record my Fire TV, for example, I would plug this in to my card. So on here, there's an HDMI in and an HDMI out. So basically, you're being mad in the middle you're interrupting the signal between a device that would display it and a device that would produce it. What you can do with that is then you can record it. You know, I'm not doing anything nefarious with it, so it's not like I'm recording TV shows or movies that I'm not supposed to be recording. All I would potentially be doing is recording menus, that kind of a thing. If I were to plug that device, that Fire TV, into this capture card, I would get a black screen or an HTTP error. Now I didn't do that. Um, I did some research before I went out and bought this card. And let's get let's get into how to defeat that real quick here. When you're looking to strip HTTP from your sources, one of the things you can go ahead and buy is an HDMI splitter. What I have here is the View HD HDMI two x one splitter. Essentially, what this does is it takes one input from HDMI and splits it into two. Now, I'm not using it to have two sources, but what you could do is you could split off devices if you wanted to clone menu or clone monitors, that kind of a thing. When I went to look for one of these, it, you know, I this came highly recommended. However, I saw some conflicting reviews on Amazon and I didn't really know which one to buy. So I also ended up with the Techol 4K HDMI splitter. They're real similar in cost. I think one was 16 or 17, one was 20. Um, again, this one had conflicting reviews. I didn't really know what to do, so I just bought both of them and I figured, hey, why don't I solve this once and for all, and then that way we know which one works and which one doesn't, or maybe, hey, they both work. Before we get into trying this out, um, I just wanted to show you the box. Um, this, is the, this is the View HD one. Um, as you can see, it just has HDMI in plus uh, a power, you know, like probably standard five volt, I think. And then on this side, it has two HDMIs out to effectively split the signal. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a metal box. It's pretty decent quality, but uh, yeah, I just kind of want to show you what you would be getting in the box. Let's go ahead and get that hooked up. All right, guys, I've gone here and set up my Elgato capture utility. I have my Fire TV ready to plug into the first device. The first device we're going to attempt here is the tech hole device. Let me just go ahead and plug that in here and see what happens. Not going to be doing any screen capture with this. I just have to use the software to take a look at it. All right, let's power up the Fire TV. Kind of helps if you plug it in. All right. Well, this is looking like it's working. Let's uh, go to DirecTV now real quick and just take a look and see that everything works on it. 
So far, so good. But, yeah. So, it looks like this device actually works. All right. Now, with that one done, let's go ahead and see if we can hook up the other one, the uh, View HD. All right. Got that one plugged in? Oh, wow. That came right up. Let's do the same test again here. Let's just drop into DirecTV now and see what we get. Looks like it's working just like the other one. That's really all I have for you. Um, I'll go ahead and close out the video here. In conclusion, it appears that both the UHD and the Tech Hole HDMI splitters strip HCCP protection. Now I was a little surprised by that outcome based on the reviews. I figured at least one of them would be correct or you know one of them wouldn't work. There were some newer reviews so I assume maybe there was a version change of HCCP, something of that nature. Now it doesn't, I, I didn't test it with a Blu-ray player because quite frankly I haven't used a Blu-ray player in probably three years. It's not a valid test for me. Um, Unfortunately, I don't even really know if I have one that works anymore. If you liked today's video and you found it informative, make sure to hit that like button. If you're interested in staying up to date with tech tips and reviews, hit that subscribe button as I'll have regular updates for you. And as a reminder, don't forget to sign up for my giveaway. I'll, I won't be harvesting any of your information. I just want to give away some Google Home Minis. That will be in linked in the description, so make sure to follow that up. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great weekend.